Hey YouTube, small reviews. And today I'm gonna be doing a quick uh, review on the hard drive on a 2012 MacBook Air. Uh, this is as basic as you can get. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to get into the MacBook lineup. Well, not necessarily myself, but my wife did. And uh, she said, you know, I just, just want something MacBook. At the time, this was this was a, a bargain, and I went ahead and got her MacBook Air. It, everything was basic, the 120 gig, 28 gigabyte SSD. Um, at the time, <coughs> you know, it was lightning fast, but, you know, as time goes on, uh, you know, better technology comes out, and these hard drives are insanely fast. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you the the speed test of the hard drive uh, from you know from the manufacturer. All right, so as you can see here, let's see here. We are going to target, and you know the target for this. Well, actually, you just pick, you know, pick uh, the desktop and just hit open. And it's going to be uh, the hard drive. <laughs> so as you can see, those are the speeds right now. <clears throat> You know, those write speeds uh, went up all the way to 200. Uh, the read is good, you know. <clears throat> it's good to uh, modern uh, nine millimeter SSDs. Uh, as far as the read goes, uh, the, write, uh, the write is kind of like using a USB 3.0 enclosure on a 500 mega you know, megabit write it, you know, because of the USB 3.0, it'll, it'll bottleneck to about 200 megs. So, um, I mean, great speeds, um, but I was just looking more forward to getting her more memory. Uh, I got her a 240 gigabyte S, you know, SSD to upgrade for it. Uh, I think it's gonna be perfect. She always is that maxed out constantly deleting little things here or there I just don't want her to regret deleting something important. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this uh, I bought this used it was a great deal it was about uh, $90 no about a hundred dollars uh, On top of that it comes with an enclosure for it, uh, which I will be you know taking but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade and uh, show you the speeds all right, so what I'm doing right now is I went ahead and took out the uh, device itself uh, from the box. Uh, this is actually very sleek. The metal is very thick, you know, for being an enclosure. Uh, high quality. Um, like I said, I got it used, so unfortunately, one of the screws didn't come with it. Luckily, it doesn't, like, shake or rattle or, any or do anything like that. So um, the cable itself... Um, actually, it's a very thin cable that came with it. And, uh, but I'm using another one from another SSD, as a matter of fact, just from this MSATA 500 gigabyte. <clears throat> and, uh, basically what I'm doing is using carbon copy cloner, um, in order to, you know, to go ahead and transfer the data over, um, I've actually just used Carbon, uh, or I'm just gonna say Triple C, on a 2016 MacBook Pro with <coughs> with the Touch Bar, transferring from a 20 uh, 2016 MacBook uh, 12 inch, and it worked flawlessly. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, and then go ahead and swap out the hard drives, and then uh, just make sure everything works on the other hard drive. And then um, I'll go ahead and uh, use this as a, just a regular SSD or as a hard drive. So after installing the hard drive and running a benchmark again, it's 
appears to be a little bit faster. And the read is about the same as well too. So just a little bit faster, uh, right? But my purpose wasn't, of course, to make the hard drive faster or anything. It was to get more space on this computer. Um, and being a little bit faster was always uh, just icing on the cake, which, you know, which it is. So, uh, you know, complaints, uh, it is it's great. So, um, I mean, other than that, I mean, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on another one.